Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do an app opening speed test comparison between the iPhone 6 versus the Galaxy E5 here. I've already done a speed test uh, and some other tests you can check out my channel. But anyways, let's just start off with these uh, phones. So I'm going to just close up everything in the background. So um, yeah, this one is coming with a quad-core Snapdragon 410. This is coming with the Apple A8 chipset, which is a dual-core. And um, so in terms of uh, the benchmarks, iPhone 6 does score better, so uh, I, have to, uh, I don't have to show you that. Uh, I will be doing a separate video for a couple of phones, you know, doing a compiled benchmark. But, but yeah, this one scores better, while this one is not better in terms of benchmark, but let's check out the real-life performance or real-world performance that most people want, like opening up these system-based apps that if we can see any lag or slow up as compared to the iOS here, which is people say that very much optimized. So let's just start off with the um, here phone, uh, phone app. One, two, three, go. So I think the iPhone 6 was a little bit quicker there. Let's just try it one more time. I'm going to just close this again. Um, let's just do this again. One, two, three, go. And again, the iPhone 6 was quicker. And let's just check out the, let's say, calculator. Calculator versus calculator here. One, two, three, oops. Let's do this. One, two, three, go. Almost at the same point. Let's open up the notes app versus the memo app here. Having the same type of function. So yeah, let's quickly do this. One, two, three, go. Let's try it again. One, two, three, go. Pretty much equal there. Let's open up the music app or music player. I don't have music on any of these devices, but just check out which we're going to open the app first. One, two, three, go. And both were pretty much equal there. Let's open up the settings. One, two, three, go. And again, both were equal there. And do keep in mind this is Samsung's budget solution this is not galaxy s6 that you're looking at so this is a budget solution but you can see that how much it's optimized and it is keeping well against the iphone 6 so let's open up the geekbench 3 app here one two three go iphone was quicker let's try that again so this is coming with a 1.5 gb of ram it's coming with one gb of ram it should be enough for the iOS, but Android needs a little bit more RAM. So let's open up the Geekbench 3 app again. One, two, three, go. Let's try it one more time. Of course, human error is possible, but one, two, three, go. And again, I think the iPhone 6 is a little bit quicker, but but you can see that this is uh, a 380 or $70 phone versus a $700 plus dollar phone here. That is also a little bit amazing for the here Samsung phone. Let's open up the photos versus the gallery app. Let's see which we're going to lower the photos first. One, two, three, go. And again, both were pretty much equal there. Let's open up the, um, let's see, context versus context here. One, two, three, go. Just gonna open it up again. One, two, three, go. Both were equal there. I think the iPhone 6 was a little, little bit faster, but you can see that it is a very negligible difference, almost split second. You can see that very amazing speed. Very, very amazing. So let's open up the camera here on both devices. See which device we're going to load the camera first. One, two, three, go. iPhone 6 was quicker. Let's switch to the back camera. And let's launch this camera again. So one, two, three, go. And again, iPhone 6 was quicker. One, two, three, go. Okay. Close this one. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, one, two, three, go. Yeah, the iPhone 6 is quicker there, but you can see that uh, there's not that much difference. Like people are saying that it is a lag phone or stuff like that. It is not lag. 
it is well optimized and it is coming with the 4.4.4 of course we're going to see lollipop with uh, a lot of uh, new changing and uh, yeah it is good as compared to the iPhone 6 so uh, do let me know when the, uh, what you know about this uh, phone here Galaxy E5 in terms of the speed real life speed as compared to the iPhone 6 uh, should you consider buying this device um, which is of course going to give you a good real life performance but not as good as in terms of 3D performance but you know that's completely up to you but if you want to check out my tests uh, that also I'm going to do in the future the camera test then do subscribe to my channel and yeah we'll see you next one